Welcome back. Now the council decision that has left retirees Chris and Kate dumbfounded. They've been threatened with a $6,000 fine because pebbles out the front of their house are considered unsafe, even though the council is happy to use them beside its own footpaths. They're trying to bully us. You can't reason with them. They're unreasonable. I think it's a load of rubbish. Chris and Kate Austin are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Remove this 80 centimetre wide strip of pebbles or face a $6,000 fine. All this trouble over this tiny little strip of pebbles. That's it. I'm astounded by it and can't believe that it's happened actually. I suppose it does make you angry because it is a bullying tactic and it's unfair and it's inequitable, but you're powerless to to stand up to them or get some sense out of them. The couple retired to Queensland's Sunshine Coast and completed this new build last year. They incorporated decorative pebbles into their backyard and thought it would make sense to continue the look on their nature strip. A, we wouldn't have to water, so we're saving water. It looks nice. Um, and B, we wouldn't have to mow it. It's contemporary, it looks modern, it's fresh, there's no maintenance to it. For the past 16 months, they've been happy with their decision until they received a letter from council saying the pebbles had to go. Your back gets up then, don't you? And you think, well, no, we're not going to take that laying down. They look pretty neat and tidy to me. Well, what's the big issue with these? Well, council deem it a perceived risk of the, the pebbles being washed out when it's stormy weather and causing an accident to somebody that might walk along this footpath. Never mind the thick bark mulch in the other garden on their verge, which was installed by council, it's only pebbles that are considered unsafe. That's what they say, yet the mulch contains large sticks which wash out. Dogs come around the corner, scratch in the mulch. Chris and Kate thought council must have, well, rocks in their head. So they requested a review of the decision, attaching pictures of around 100 other properties in the area with a similar use of pebbles on the nature strip. They asked us to provide name ad addresses of where other properties were. So they effectively wanted you to dob on everyone else? Yes, which we refused to do. Council advised they're only interested in these perceived safety risks when someone complains. If it's so important to the council to maintain these verges, why aren't they doing the job? You can drive around and see them everywhere. But that's not the only crazy element in Sunshine Coast Council's pursuit of nitpicking. And here's where this decision becomes really quite bizarre. Just a few months ago, a major streetscaping project was completed along here by the very same council. And you're not going to believe what they've used on the verge. That's right, Sunshine Coast Council consider these rocks that they installed to be safe along this footpath, but Chris and Kate's are not. There's more council controlled walkways closer to the couple's home with rocks alongside too. What do you make of this double standard? I don't think it should happen. I mean, they're telling us to remove pebbles and they're putting rocks on council verges. So it is, as you say, a double standard. Isn't that um, just a classic? You know, council can do one thing, residents have to do something else. Shane Bowering is from Red Tape Busters and can't believe a council could be so picky. I'd say it's very mean-spirited. Um, certainly um, doesn't seem to be anything that's um, absolutely out there that you could think, gee, those people are doing something drastically wrong. Sunshine Coast Council provided a statement saying there are no double standards with their own use of rocks. These items are covered by Council's insurance and maintenance programs. Items installed by residents without an appropriate permit are not covered. By airing this, it may get other people aware that they are non-compliant and they might join forces and put some pressure on the Council to, act, to actually review it. Chris and Kate have a week to remove their pebbles or pay that hefty fine. They've also started an online petition. If you'd like to sign it, just head to our website.